at what point did you get this idea? Well, I want to do even more work. As if you were not already working hard enough, working 15 hours a day with those restaurants. But you say, I want to add to this work and I want to create the world central kitchen. How did that happen? That you decided that there's so many people out there that need food. There's war zones where they need food. There's fires, there's earthquakes, there's problems, there's, there's floods, and there's this and that, there's this misery around the world. I gotta go and feed those people. I mean, how did that come about? I mean, what was your drive to give something back? At the same time I arrived uh, uh, Washington DC governor, I began volunteering in an organization called DC Central Kitchen. DC Central Kitchen was amazing because it was fighting food waste, which we know has a lot to do with global warming, bringing that food that was untouched. And actually it happened on uh, Ronald Reagan inauguration day, the day it was founded. 35 plus years ago. But take a look what happened here. The guy that founded this, Robert Egger, was a bartender. And he saw that food waste was not really the only problem. The problem is that we were wasting people's lives. So he brought the food that was untouched and really ready to throw garbage. And he brought the people to a kitchen, began training the people to become cooks. Those cooks will make sure that the food waste was no food waste, but food opportunity and making meals to feed the homeless population of Washington, D.C. I became a volunteer. I became the chairman of the organization. I learned so much watching how a plate of food could be really an agent of change, not throwing money at the problem, but investing into the solutions. You as a governor know, knows this very well. We were fighting food waste, giving opportunity to people, training them, feeding the homeless, and in the process, finding jobs to those men and women that once they graduated after the training, will join the ranks of different restaurants around DC. Brilliant. But at the same time, I was watching what happened in Katrina. At the same time, I was watching in the distance how we left men and women sometimes like in the Superdome, four days without food and water. The system was overwhelmed because sometimes government cannot do it all. Everybody forgets that government is only as good as its citizens. And FEMA, who is the organization in charge of providing response and bringing different NGOs to make it happen, in some events could be overwhelmed. That's when actually didn't began really in the States, but when Haiti happened, the big, hurrah, the big earthquake in 2010, I said, you know, this is mayor, I am a cook. And when you have an emergency, you send nurses and doctors to take care of the wounded. You send the firefighters to take care of the fires. But when you have to feed people in an emergency, who do you think is the most prepared people? Those are cooks of the world. So I went to Haiti, and it's when World Central Kitchen was created. Without realizing over the last 14 years, we've been in so many places, in the fires in California, in Ventura, and so other places, in the volcano in Hawaii and in the volcano in Guatemala. We've been in the war in Ukraine. We've been uh, in the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. We've been in, the, in Bahamas after Dorian. At the end, it's a very simple thing what we do, Governor. Uh, in the way we see it, every restaurant, every chef, every cook, every volunteer, every person that drives a car and can deliver, uh, every, every helicopter pilot, uh, everybody belongs to World Central Kitchen. What happened? They don't know it yet. We go to a place and we are able to feed people quickly and fast because we use local resources, we use the local assets, and more important, we allow the locals to join us because nobody knows better than the locals. At the end, with the people, we become one. We are able to reach one million meals a day in a matter of days in a very organized, sometimes illogical way, but in a way that we don't come with a plan, we adapt.